toxic chemical spill prompts an emergency response in a Chicago suburb. A brush fire threatens a Los Angeles neighborhood. An early morning pileup snarls Dallas's morning commute. A gas leak results in the evacuation of a New Jersey mall. Tornadoes flatten an Oklahoma City trailer park. Through it all, some people reach safety before things get critical. They are ahead of the crowd, more informed, better prepared. They're listening to the action as it happens on a unit and scanner. You'll find them in police cars, military helicopters, border patrol vans, in fire stations, FEMA emergency operations centers, TV newsrooms, with Red Cross response teams, and in thousands of homes, cars, and trucks, listened to by people just like you. Unit and scanners keep you informed. Hi, I'm Paul Opitz, Director of Product Development for Radio Products at Unit Incorporation. I'm here to talk to you today about some exciting new products. You know, the world is changing and the scanner market is changing too. In the last year, we've lost a competitor and we're gaining a new competitor. We've lost a magazine and we're picking up some new online magazines. Throughout all of this, Uniden is not letting up. Even when we thought we didn't have a competitor, we've continued to focus on innovation and on bringing out new products. So why do we innovate? Why do we change? We make great scanners, so why don't we just change the color of a button and call it a day? Well, as you will see, the world of scanners is moving out of the engineering closet and onto Main Street. That's because in a fast-moving, soundbite-packaged world, people see the information that comes from a scanner as the up-to-the-minute, unfiltered truth. And that is something that more and more people are interested in. We want to make scanners that meet that need and make it easier for our core users and more comfortable for new users while still providing cutting edge features and performance that is critical to the success of a flagship product. So we talk to our customers and more importantly, we listen to them. And well, you might as well listen to them yourselves. Some of you may remember Joe, Bob, Mabel, Billy Ray and Jeff. These are our typical unit and scanner customers. And as you can imagine, they are full of ideas that help us constantly improve our products. I'm Joe, and I've tinkered with electronics for as long as I can remember. I've been a scanner enthusiast for years. Now I'm in charge of keeping the local law enforcement radio systems running, and I gotta tell you, the things you hear on the scanner would blow your mind. If everybody knew what really went on, I'll tell you what. My background in electrical engineering and knowledge of scanners pays off all the time. I love unit and scanners. My only question is, when are they going to come out with a scanner that can handle phase two digital systems? We're upgrading this year, and if I can't even monitor my own system, that's a real deal breaker. Of course, having the radio system analysis features of the Home Patrol 1 would be great, but I'd better be able to program it from the front panel when I'm out in the field. My name is Bob, and well, oddly enough, my fascination with scanners started when I got into the TV show Cops. You know that's real stuff. I love watching those guys chase down some fella in his underwear. Anyway, that show made me realize that scanners are another step closer to that whole reality thing. Hearing how that stuff really goes down out there, man, it's intense. So I got me a unit in scanner. Really got into hearing all the stuff going on just a few streets over. Next thing you know, I volunteered to head up the neighborhood watch. So I really use the scanner to help out the community. I really like how easy it is to set up the Home Patrol 1. But I'd really like something that is easier to carry around. All the handy types right now are so far over my head, it's ridiculous. So Uniden, how about a more portable scanner that is easy to use like the Home Patrol 1? I'm Mabel. And our family has lived in this neighborhood, gosh, I guess 15 years. I've been head of the PTA, the Homeowners Association, Scouts, Dance Team, Hockey Mom, you name it. <laughs> I probably know everybody on the block. And they certainly know me. <laughs> For years, nothing ever happened around here. 
But then a while back, we started getting a series of break-ins. It made everybody pretty nervous around here. I got the unit and scanner. So I know what's up with all the sirens and whatnots. You also learned some pretty interesting things about those neighbors you thought you knew so well. I let everyone in on the latest and maybe share a little gossip. <laughs> you know, the Home Patrol One is so easy to use. I was able to program it myself in just a few minutes. But I'd really love it if I could hear it when I'm in another room. It isn't very convenient toting it around the house. <laughs> I'm Billy Ray, retired truck driver. Funny thing is, I retired and got into RVing. So I'm still driving all across our nation, rain or shine. But this time around, we're stopping and seeing everything we can. I tell you, this is an amazing country. Sure, we've got our problems, but not like the rest of the world. I've been a scanner fan my whole career because there's really no better way to know about traffic conditions and road closures than by using a scanner. The sooner you know, the sooner you can avoid all that mess. And hearing about the occasional high-speed chase, <laughs> always kind of entertaining. Now, I like my scanner, but they have gotten so complicated. I just wish there was a scanner that was easy to use but that I could mount in my RV and you know, not worry about it coming loose from the windshield if I hit a speed bump. Hey, I'm Jeff. Uh, I just got out of college and got this new job with this cool technology upstart. It's, uh, it's a lot of hours, but that's okay because, you know, we work hard and we party hard. So it's kind of perfect for me. Um, I'm kind of addicted to apps and, like, new sites that make life easier you know, or gives you information before everyone else. Uh, this may sound weird, but I recently got really interested in scanners. Yeah, uh, like, all right, did you know that people actually think that CNN or Fox News actually gives them instant information? But that's just a bunch of spinning rumors. See, I think that scanners have some sort of cool factor to them. You know, like immediate information about drug busts or shootings or traffic accidents or robberies or you know, fires. Look, look, you'd be amazed at what you hear when there is a real crisis going on. You know, stuff that doesn't even make the news. See, I think it's so cool that I want people to have access to this information without having to be a radio geek. See, I think the one thing that you have to do to make scanners more accessible is have it run on my smartphone so that I don't have to carry around a scanner, but I still get my info fix. You see, just because I am a geek doesn't mean I want to look like one. So we listen to our customers. Well, actually, we do more than just listen. Since 2003, we've also been interacting with them. We know that when it comes to using a scanner, every location is different and every user is different. If we are to make products that meet all the different needs of our customers, we have to actively engage with them. Many of you know me as Upman, the uniting guy that is out there answering questions, issuing updates, and leaving little hints when new things are coming your way. Upman has posted over 10,000 replies to folks asking questions at radioreference.com, in the multitude of unit and scanner Yahoo groups, and at our own forums at homepatrol.com. I also listen to your criticisms of our current products, watch for any hint that a bug has slipped through the testing process, and take that input and work with our engineers to create new products or updates to our existing products to answer those criticisms. And updates don't end when the production line stops. We've issued updates for scanners that have been discontinued for over five years, updates that added significant features to these older products. Of course, we want you to buy a new scanner, but it's also important to us that you stay happy with the scanner you've already got. So we don't just change the color of a button and call it a day. We look at what our customers are asking for, add some innovations they'd never expect, then work day and night to create a scanner that you just have to add to your collection. When we do that, we end up with a product like the BCD 436 HP, a handheld digital scanner that gives you the features you've been asking for and then some. The BCD 436 HP is Uniden's new top of the line digital handheld scanner 
As Joe insisted, this scanner covers all the major trunked radio types, including APCO 25 Phase 1 and Phase 2 Digital. Now, we could have just squeezed a bigger processor into our BCD396 XT and left it at that, but that's not enough for us. We also wanted a technical, professional series scanner that doesn't leave Bob or Mabel behind. So we've incorporated some of the features that make the Home Patrol 1 so easy to use into this new platform. Like the BCD396 XT, the BCD436 HP lets you program anything you want using either the front panel or the included Sentinel software. But we've added to that the ability to easily select channels to listen to by simply entering your zip code. The BCD 436 HP includes the entire US and Canada database of radio systems from radioreference.com on its four gig memory card. We reissue that database every week and make it easy to update the scanner by simply connecting the scanner to your PC using a USB cable. That's right, no more serial cables for PC connectivity. We've also doubled the size of the display, making it easier to show you information about exactly what you're scanning. Dedicated system, department, and channel keys make navigation, holding on things you want to hear, and avoiding things you don't want to hear a snap. Three AA batteries, recharged through the USB port, provide power that can last eight hours or more. And the four gig memory card can do more than just store your favorites. You can also record what you're scanning for simple review later. Four gigs of memory should let you run a couple of weeks continuously without filling up the card. But if you do want more storage, we support up to 32 gigabytes. Now, many of you are familiar with the dynamic memory architecture used in our current models. The BCD 436 HP provides an enhanced version of this system, giving you the ability to easily select favorites lists to monitor using favorites list quick keys, as well as the ability to quickly select systems and departments using system quick keys and department quick keys. And we haven't forgotten the hardcore technical scanner user in our quest to make the scanner easier to use. We've included the advanced radio analysis and discovery modes that you could only get in a Home Patrol 1 by purchasing the $100 Extreme upgrade. The discovery mode lets you monitor a trunked radio system or a frequency range looking for channels being used in your area that are not yet in the database. If the scanner finds such a channel, it will record the audio from that channel so that you can later review the recording to determine who the user is. Then, you can confidently submit the new channel information to Radio Reference, helping to improve the scanner experience for everyone else in your area. Analysis features include band scope that helps you find active frequencies in your area. RF power plot is a great tool for determining which antenna works best for your needs. You can also use it along with a directional antenna to help determine the direction a signal is coming from. Plus, the trunking analysis tools give you insight into the inner workings of trunked radio systems. And of course, we've also included all of the features that you've come to expect in our top of the line models. Close call RF capture with do not disturb lets you instantly tune to the frequency of a nearby transmitter without interrupting existing reception. Channel priority is available on both conventional and trunked radio systems. Tone out mode lets you monitor a local two-tone paging system for alerts while in standby mode. NOAA All Hazards Alert with SAME lets you use the scanner to alert you to local emergencies. And of course, Trunk Tracker 5 technology gives you the ability to monitor APCO 25, Phase 1, and Phase 2 digital systems, as well as X2 TDMA, Motorola, EDAX, and LTR trunk systems. While the BCD 436 HP is designed to be carried on your belt, we've also included location based scanning. So if you connect an external GPS, such as our BC GPSK, to the scanner, it will automatically select from the main database, from your selected favorites lists, or any combination. If you have never experienced traveling with a GPS connected to the Home Patrol 1, you've really missed out. This combination lets you drive from Los Angeles to New York City without ever having to reprogram your scanner. Channels are selected automatically and selection is continuously and seamlessly updated as you drive. Now you can have that same experience with the BCD 436 HP. Now, I believe we've taken care of just about everything Joe, Bob, Mabel, and Billy Ray have asked for. But what about Jeff? Well, let's take a look at our other new scanner, the BCD 536 HP. Like the BCD 436 HP, we've doubled the size of the display, making it wider to accommodate more system information. 
We've also added dedicated system, department, and channel buttons. In fact, we've included all the great feature enhancements of the BCD-436 in the BCD-536 HP. APCO 25 Phase 1 and Phase 2, a 4-gig memory card for recording, a Home Patrol-style channel selection for ease of use, the entire U.S. and Canada database, system discovery and analysis modes, GPS connectivity for seamless location-based scanning, close call RF capture with do not disturb, tone out, and weather standby. But we aren't through yet. The BCD 536 HP is the first scanner ever to incorporate a Wi-Fi feature that lets you link your smartphone or tablet to the scanner for remote access and control. Using the BCD 536 HP with the Siren app will provide you with the same ease of use, color, touchscreen experience our Home Patrol 1 users have come to love. Plus, it has the portability Mabel asked for and should just blow Jeff away. The app lets you use all features of the scanner, adjusting all settings, or just use it to listen to the scanner's audio as it receives. And since the link is through Wi-Fi, you'll be able to use it from anywhere in your house when connected to your home's Wi-Fi router. Or set the scanner up as an independent access point and put it anywhere in your vehicle. Then use your smartphone or tablet as a remote head to easily control or listen to your scanner in your car. You'll also be able to listen to or adjust settings on your scanner from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. And that is just the beginning. We have some even more exciting things in the work that take advantage of the Wi-Fi connection. But you're going to have to stay tuned for more announcements around March of next year. Here's a question I'm sure you're asking yourself right now. How much is all of this going to cost me? Well, before I get to that, let's quickly review all of the features we've added beyond what our BCD396 XT and BCD996 XT have. And they've historically sold for about $500. APCO 25, Phase 2, and X2 TDMA functionality, double the display size, 4 gigabytes of memory, the US and Canada database, included software, systems analysis and discovery modes, $100 value right there, recording and playback capability, and the ease of use of the Home Patrol interface. Wow, that is a lot of value packed into a little package. For the BCD 536 HP, let's add to that the Wi-Fi functionality and the app. Did I mention that the app is also free? And the planned enhancements are free too. Well, even with all of this added value, we're holding our target retail prices at $499 for the BCD 436 HP and $599 for the BCD 536 HP. I'm sure the other question you have is, when are they going to be available? Well, we plan to release both models in January 2014. We're getting our pricing out to our distributors and dealers now, so start looking to pre-order as they get ready to add them to their shelves. Well, that's all I've got for now, but I'm sure you still have questions. So head over to info.uniton.com slash new scanners, all one word, be sure to use a capital N, and we'll provide links to more information, an owner's manual, pre-release software, and more. Thanks for joining us today and for supporting Uniton. We are thrilled to be able to offer you these new products, and we look forward to continuing to provide you with innovative scanners for years to come.